Um, well, you know, how, what about daylight savings? <laughs> Let's give it that to you. What the fuck? What a bunch of crap and is that Once a shit? year, it comes up, and then there's a movement where everybody complains about it, <laughs> and then you have, like, some weirdo politician who's like, my sole platform, I'm going to run on the sole platform of, like, getting rid of this, and then it, then we forget about it, and I'm you sure know, it's been talked about you know on lots of other doesn't... podcasts, but why does it not happen? That... We don't want it. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants it. Nobody likes it. Except somebody. fucking farmers, somebody, that's what we keep hearing. Why the fuck would a farmer like a farmer's like, oh, I got to get up earlier. I got to get up even, even I think earlier. I for this goddamn corn. What is, what is going on? <laughs> the sun's not changing. We're changing. What are we doing? What is, I don't know. What is it? We got hot for a second. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have a whole call-in show. About whether or not. About whether or not, what, like, truly what is going on. With, with, I'll tell you what, if you're a politician and you're running on daylight savings, that's going to get well, you nowhere. Well, jo- I think it's people, more of a joke, but it actually does afraid. rile people up. Because no, I haven't ever talked to anybody. Have you ever talked to one person who's like, man, I'm super psyched about, about changing them clocks? I, you <gasps> are. You are. You're one of them. Well, I, well, I like it, to fall back. <laughs> I like to fall back. You like that extra sleep, but don't you? An don't extra you, hour of sleep. Yeah, but you like one, it getting well, for one day. I don't like springing forward. I yeah, don't but, like that. but do you like looking at your clock and you're like, oh, it's 430. All oh, the sun just went down. No. Yeah, right. Okay, well, nobody then, likes that. Now, well, then. You, okay, so that, but that's the vast majority of it. You just, but it's all but worth also, it for the one day. But I'm also not a huge fan of the sun. <laughs> In case that's not clear from my complexion. So we should get rid of the sun. <laughs> I just sort of feel like that's, I think that's the real problem is the sun. I mean, you know what I mean? We, we... <laughs> We're headed that way. We are headed to, to, to people wanting to cancel the sun. Being like, it, it gives you fucking cancer. Enough that's of the sun. Yeah, right. Enough of this sun. Let's cancel the sun. Let's get rid of it. Mm-hmm. That's where we're going. Yeah, I, I like that plan. Uh, well, look, the, the sun does give you cancer. It also gives us life. <laughs> Let's learn to live with the sun, guys. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. But what is the daylight savings time giving us? It's giving us nothing. No, I'm, I'm with you guys. I think it should be around. And, and every year, it, I, it's a it's a topic of conversation for a couple of days. Yeah. People get riled up. You see it on social media. Everyone's like, why are we doing this again? And then yeah. someone else is like, well, actually, the reason why we do it is because and nobody gives a shit. Oh. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. Now, was that a scientist? That was who, a what stupid was that? science bitch trying to make. Was that a stupid not, science bitch? I am more smart, smarter. <laughs> this is me pretending to know what I'm talking about, okay. which I don't. Yes. Right. Well, you do. I mean, you're a person no, living yeah, in the world. I'm a person that has an opinion, yeah. and I'm sure there is a valid reason out there. And there every is... year, I'm like, I'm going to look it up, and then I'm like, I don't fucking. Care. Aren't there? Oh, yeah. isn't, right. isn't there like a state that doesn't do like Arizona? Yeah. just doesn't there's do some, it. There's some like, places that yeah. don't. There are some places that don't do it, which you know kind of proves your point to a degree. Which I mean, is then I, even I, more confusing as we become more of a, a, a connected society all over the world, where like the time zones are like, oh, what time it's is it there? It, yeah, I don't, no. it's chaos. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah, chaos. Yeah. I, I think you should do a deep dive on it and really try to figure out the reason for it. Okay. Right. Really weigh the pros yeah. and cons in a in an educated way. And then let's have a call in show, right? Yeah. You don't. Not about daylight savings. Well, we got to. But well, uh, listening to the call in, we have to have some structure to that because that was that was fun, but it was it was chaos. It was chaos, which is okay for the first one. But now I think we have to. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll 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 come up with a, something that people can specifically ask us that will be entertaining to hear people asking. I, us. I think if we had a call in show about daylight savings, there wouldn't be enough conflict. Well, I think you're going to have a hundred percent of the audience. Calling. I agree. I agree. Why are we doing this? This is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. 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 Well, it, you know. You know what's entertaining? Getting held hostage. <laughs> mm. I love this episode. It's interesting. So um, it's it's, an, it's interesting. I, I remember loving this episode. See, I, I remember hating it. Oh, see, I, yeah. I always loved this episode. Mm, this- I always loved it. And last night I watched it and I was like, no, I still like it. I, I, I still think it's funny, but... I don't know. I mean, it's, it's our first depar- departure episode, right? The first time we took the format of the show and well, we, I, right? I think the did thing- it like because it's almost yeah. You know, it's, we're it's using different music. But, we're using and tr- and truly at this point, the characters are not real human beings. Well, like, so- we're we're presenting people who are actively like trying to get the other characters killed. Yeah. Right. Which is like, it's a bit broad. It's yeah. raw. It's super broad. And I remember at the time being like, is this really the direction of the show? And it turned out yes. Yeah. And for good reason. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, so I, I saw one of those lists like, um, I don't know, it was like Collider or something of like best episode from each season. 
Mm. And for this season, they had picked the gang gets held hostage. Interesting. I don't agree. Well, mm. I don't agree. I don't think it's our best episode. I, I was kind of like, eh, meh. meh. Like, right. I laughed enough that I made it work. But I was also like, what are what were we doing? I enjoyed it. I am almost enjoyed it more for nostalgic purposes. Like I I I because I because I loved that episode so much when we were making it and when we were editing it. Although I do remember that one the problem was we got in the editing room, we put that episode together, and we were like, this does not work at all. And that's because we were we, using sunny music, probably. We were using, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. using the same music we always use and we realized we were like what we were we just did it as an experiment we were like why don't you just take a bunch of action movie music and we had our editor just cut a version with a bunch of action movie music in it and all of a sudden it worked yeah i did think about that watching it about how the creative process leads you often like we don't go in there necessarily saying we're going to do something with action music no. and sometimes we do sometimes we have a very specific idea like that like this ski episode where we're like we're going to spoof those ski movies and we'll probably use ski movie music and movie but for this one it was just like we're going to tell a story about this happening and we're going to reference die hard a little bit and then we get in the editing room and we're like well we just can't use our regular music it doesn't work yeah so we have to search around we find something that works and then and then that becomes the reality for that you know that's that's how we we get there we don't really have sort of some preconceived idea of how we're going to get there it's just we keep trying things mm -hmm. and then what seems to be right reveals itself to us i don't know if that's interesting to listen to no it is i mean i i, I think I, I do think i mean it's also it is interesting though how much music really does influence your experience of something because, oh yeah yeah uh i mean do you ever see those cuts where they, I'm, I know you have, where they take oh, like yeah. The Shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they like. And they cut it to Peter Gabriel's uh, yeah, yeah. Salisbury Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they take out a laugh track on certain sitcoms. Oh, Even sitcoms yeah. you love. Oh, that's yeah. great. Right. Yes, that's like, great. Seinfeld or Friends, like shows I love. I Without truly the love them. They take yeah. the laugh track out and you're like, It's just Whoa. big holes. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that shit's great. But no, that, that idea that necessity drives innovation to a certain point, right? Where you're mm. like, well, we we fucked this up and now it's necessary for us to try to fix it and then we figure out a different way maybe we should put it. a different soundtrack over covid you know what i mean just put a different soundtrack over it what and is the so, soundtrack of covid well the, i think the soundtrack of covid right now is like and maybe yeah, it should be, be. <laughs> ding, 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 you know maybe maybe you can I don't know. Maybe you can sh shine shine a little sunshine on Lighten it. Lighten up all the death. Yeah. Well, or focus on the positive parts oh, of it. All the people that lived. Yeah. Look at all the people that lived. Okay. <laughs> so many people lived. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, just a thought. You know, maybe maybe if when we talk we play, about we COVID on the news, uh -huh. you know, we play like something jolly in the background, like play Christmas music and shit, you know, or do, like. Do it with that. Do it with war. Do it with social turmoil. Right. Like, that's what we do with Sunny in the beginning. We were like, well, how, this is dark. If we go dark with it, it's not going to work. So let's lighten it up. Let's play Leave it to Beaver music. It's, and it works. So it works on Dude, it's Let's do it on sunny. the news. It's do it on, let's do it let's on the news. Let's do it on the news. Let's Everyone be more relaxed. People, relax. Man, people Calm fucking down. chill out. And then let's really chill fuck out. with people. And when they tell good news, then you put da, 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 <laughs> yeah, da, 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 Like, we've cured cancer, but it's like, mm, mm, you know what I mean? Something else is going to pop up or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you never know with so that replace music. Replace it. Yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> you don't a know with that music. <laughs> there's a thing where the guns are rubber at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's a thing where D grabs the yeah, gun yeah. and cocks it, sense. and it's so real. So I guess you'd have to be like, well, there was like one kind of prop or realish gun, and the other one was rubber. And okay, do you do you remember this? I think it was this episode. I think it was this episode where we got to the editing room, hmm. and we had slowed down that footage. Yeah, and where, where, yes. says, where Nate falls, right? And so that shit's really funny. Okay. where he yeah, falls yeah, to the yeah, ground yeah, and yeah. it's hilarious. So we're in the like mix studio or whatever, and we're like, okay, okay great. So we want to slow it down. Oh, so I do remember this. I remember and this. The, and the guy was like, "We can't do that. It can't be done. It just can't be done." And we were like, "No, no, it can be done. Like you slow it down to match what's yeah. happening." Nah, that's just like, no. That's it's not, just like not not possible. something that can. It was we're like we were, we, we're not making that up. We have stole like we're stealing it from yeah, yes, yeah. things and we've from, seen. No, it's only been done a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. Has it not been done here? Because it's like, but like. Well, this is a man whose job it is to do sound stuff. Yes. And it kept coming out like, no. 
You know, yeah, it was like, like yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. like, well, not that, not whatever that is. <laughs> Like, yeah. like the thing you've heard in the movie. But it is, it is amazing how often that ha- that will happen, All where people time. are like, All the it's just not possible. Oh, now, the, now my, we're my like biggest the, pet beef is on set where you, a character has a microphone, and so, some sound guy's like, so we'll put in the echo effect in the room after, so let's right. not actually have the microphone on. And then they can't do it. It's like, just yeah. turn the fucking microphone on, and we'll record that. Yeah. An example of that is also in this episode, too, where you can clearly hear that I'm off camera talking to Frank in the walkie-talkie. Yeah. Oh, and I yeah, remember yeah, that was yeah, real. Yeah. Like, I was just off camera actually doing it. Uh-huh. And I remember the, every, the, this big discussion at the yes. production meeting, like, well, we'll just put it in later. I'm like, well, why would we do that? Why don't we just do it right now? Yeah, just you have it holding a walkie-talkie. Yeah. Well, You yeah. can hear it. it in terms of someone says it's going to look like something later or sound or look like something, I'm always like, no, let's just make it sound and look like it now. Yes. And so that I know we have it. Like when people oh. are like, oh, well, that's not going to look like that. Like, well, what, what, it's, well, did, it does look like it. I can see it. Did, 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 <laughs> just destroying the illusion of Hollywood for a second. When somebody walks in with a with a, a paper bag, just just so you're all love aware this. of this, I love this. a grocery paper bag. Anytime you see one on TV or movies, except for on our show. It is made out of this material that, yeah. that is un of this earth. It's, it's an like amazing a, material. It's an amazing by the material. Way. It's, it's some kind of like plastic. It's not a real bag. And the reason is because at some point the sound department colluded with the aliens. props department oh. and said, we can't have real bags on the set because they crinkle and they make too much noise. That's they right. sound like bags. They sound like bags. So what we'll do is we'll have you get these fake ones that don't really, upon inspection, don't really look like it and also don't have the properties of a bag so they don't look like a bag. And then we'll we'll put it in post. Yeah. So all the sounds that you could get, we'll pay for later <laughs> to add in to not actually have them on set. Right. Why? Why? Do you remember the season we had the boom guy? Who like either always had a cold, a perpetual cold, or we talked about this on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we have, and we have. I, I, well, I, I didn't want to say. I, I, I didn't well, want to no, say. Well, no, that's different than we've talked about this before. I'm saying we've actually talked about this on the podcast. Yes. I never want to challenge what we have or have. It's no <laughs> argument for me. If you tell me we have, yeah. I, I'm sure that we have. And by the way, I still, I, I'm, I'd be down to hear that story again because it <laughs> makes me fucking laugh. I think it's hilarious. No, you but, killed it. You killed I, the joint. Yeah, yeah. So, that was no but. Yeah, that was no but. Yeah, no but as opposed to yeah. yes and. Well, yeah. it was n- no. We already. It was what it was. It was we already. Yeah, no, we already. Yeah, yeah, which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> so you you already said that line, man. You don't need to say it again. Yeah, yeah. I I, I do enjoy. Oh, there's ADR mm-hmm. in this episode too. I caught two ADR. Lines. Go ahead. What were there? There were two of them. Okay. I I kind of want to challenge the the audience, and I all, like okay so. Mm. It's it, it it's one one of them is my line and one of them is Jimmy's line, and it might be interesting to see if people can identify it because it was clear to me, because ADR is always like clear if you know if you remember it and yeah they, and they I, I don't know if the audience would know. Okay, so you're gonna challenge the audience to try to yeah, pick out see, those to, ADR moments. Yeah, uh, did, but was it does it pop out enough to where people are actually gonna be able to pick out that that was not production? I don't know. Well, maybe that's a that's a good. Uh, you guys didn't pick up on it again, so maybe that's a good I, sign that it was well. Wasn't it's, ADR. I don't know that it's that I didn't pick up on it as much as that I didn't feel like it was worthy to talk about. But <laughs> the only I'm saying, I'm not the, saying it the, isn't. I'm not saying it. Oh, you touched his hand. You touched Rob's hand. And, it, and it's it, so uncommon for you guys to touch me. I don't mind being touched. Yeah, me either. I, and I, I, enjoy like, a good and touch. I like touching. I, I, I But I, I feel like whenever I touch, it's definitely Charlie, which we talked about. Yeah, yeah. But Glenn, even. Isn't, I, it, isn't it funny how, like, I feel like of the three of us, like, you're the most approachable and sort of like the, the, mo- the most like lovable. The, the most lovable of the three of us. And yet, like, uh, uh, and I'm probably the least. And yet, like, in real life, I enjoy touch, I think, more than even you guys. The, definitely more than well, you. Maybe even fair, more than you. People might be afraid like, of your touch. I, I think when people meet me in real life, they can feel that my energy isn't quite what it is when they... I, I always expect, like, if I get approached by a fan of the show, like, I always ex- expect them to be a little like, mm, is this guy going to yell at me? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, and he, you might. But they don't. Well, I might, but it won't be because... <laughs> it won't be because you're... It won't be because you're nice. It'll be because you're a dick. But like, you know, but people actually don't feel that way around me. And I and, yeah. I, and I I appreciate that. I, I don't know no, if that's... you're in their homes, man. You're in their living room. But do they come right up and just touch you? No. No, that 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 would be a little yeah. a little bit strange. Although I, I'd be more open to it than you'd think. Like if, if COVID weren't such a thing, 
you know what I mean? And and somebody came like like if a fan came up and was like, oh my god, I I, I really like your show. I, I, can I give you a hug? I'm like, Fuck yeah, let's yeah, do it. I hug fans all the time. I'm yeah. a hugger. I'm, I'm a hugger. I'm fine with a mutually ex. Uh, yes. touch situation. It's when it comes it, out it, of it, nowhere. It's more when it comes out of nowhere. I just am easily I'm... startled. You know, I'm like a... You <laughs> oh. Know, like a... <laughs> right, you're... <laughs> like, a, so, like, you know, like a... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we were like a cobra. Like, you know, uh, just, uh, cobra yeah, I was going to say more like a muskrat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just like, uh, Both are ready to strike at any yeah, moment, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm, ready to, I'm more ready strike. to scramble than I am to strike. <laughs> <laughs> right, make it. I'm ready to muskrat. scramble. Yeah, yeah. I get out of in a hostage situation. I find the first window and be out fast. Mm. You know, I could get out fast. That's what you'd do in a hostage situation. What if I your friends know. were in danger? I don't want to know. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you in real life? Uh, mm, God, no. I mean, other than on a um, set, no. I have. You really? Yeah. My mm. next door neighbor. A loaded gun? Was it loaded? I didn't ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just was doesn't curious. matter. My ne- and no, I, was a, I mean, it does matter, but well, the rule is you're supposed to assume yeah. that it I is. I was a child. <laughs> oh. uh, and like, you know, I'm 12, 11. And I think we were riding our bikes to our friend's house. And I had this crazy neighbor, man. And uh, I guess I rode my bike too close to his truck or whatever. And he pulled a shotgun out, pointed at me and my friends. He goes, I can make you all fade. Oh, That's a yeah. great fucking line. Yeah. Wow. We're like, oh shit, man. That was it. Wow. Fucking I don't know. I don't know why he had a country accent in Rhode Island, but he did. <laughs> he you did? Know? Yeah. He was probably on the on the lamb, you know. He was probably hiding out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was on a lamb. He was on a lamb. He was on the lamb. Which just means when you're when you eat lamb and you're like on the lamb. Right? Isn't that what that means? <laughs> That was not a good cut that 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 yeah but that's the only time I've had a knife I've had a knife pulled on me too I had a knife pulled on me once yeah 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 not but yeah in a mugging situation but it never came anywhere near you've been mugged I've been mugged I've been mugged twice well also like I've been beaten up a bunch but that was less like it's this is about about your getting your money and that was the mugging the muggings were never violent because I just gave them the thing right because what's worth but then I've been like jump. You've been jumped before. I've never been jumped. Oh, really? No. You've never been jumped. You've never been jumped or mugged. I've been mugged. I've never been jumped. What's mm. the difference between being jumped and being well? Mugged? When well, you're mugged, mugged is... someone wants some money from you. When you're jumped, someone just wants to get they just want to beat you up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the mugging you don't really deserve. Sometimes the the, the no, you don't. Would... No, you don't deserve. Either. No, that well, deserve fight. is a word. No, no, a jump. Yeah, yeah. Is, never, is nobody an deserves unmotivated yes. fight. I was, I was right. jumped on the Wildwood Boardwalk, like a group, a group of kids beat, beat, beat yeah, 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 for yeah. for fun. What is this? Not one? for me. What, what is this? A Jersey, boardwalk? New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, South okay. Jersey board. The board. Wildwood, Wildwood, New Jersey. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, the Wildwood Boardwalk. And yeah, yeah, yeah. A group of young. Um, Get his vinegar gentlemen. smelling ass. <laughs> <laughs> That little bit of good kid in the speedos kick his ass. <laughs> Foot keeps slipping right off him. <laughs> <laughs> we should wipe our fish on him. I'm trying to punch you, but the punch is slide right off. <laughs> I was on a bike. It was even weirder. I was like on a bike and I was like trying to get out. And I realized so these are total I strangers. Yeah. Total strangers. Yeah. And they just decided. Yeah. How old were you? 14. Th- how, I was a freshman in high school. How bad summer. was the beatdown? Like, how bad did it get? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. Mm-mm. I just remember, like, I had a bike and I was like, oh. And then some kid came up and was like, hey, give me some money. And I was like, I don't have any, which I didn't. But it, and then I could tell, like, that I was being surrounded and I was like, oh, good. <sighs> and then there's people everywhere. It's the boardwalk in the summer. Mm-hmm. The kid, I try to move and he, the kid sticks his foot, like, in the spokes. Yeah. Just like, stop it. Ooh. And stopped it. And then he you was like, oh. fucked him up. Well, he was like, ow. And then some other guys was like, did you did you just hurt my brother? And I was like, no, I was just trying. I'm like, now I'm getting my, I, I know I'm getting beat up. Yeah, you know what's And happening. then I just like turn and the kid whose foot, like who put it in the foot, <clears throat> just fucking clocked me right off the. Did they steal the, your bike? No. So that's why it's not a mugging. That so then they kind of stomped on a, me a little a bit. Jumping. And then of course stomped they're, well, like kicked me and whatnot. Right. No, again, nothing like serious because we're in. I mean, there was thousands of people on the boardwalk. Yeah. And then eventually someone's like, hey, what, what are you doing over there? And then what? It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, the, hey, what are these kids doing? Oh, I saw a crazy fight when I was in Australia and it was um, like their national, like their 4th of July. I think it's called Australia Day. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, there were like these teenagers <clears throat> right outside my house. And they were fight- like a couple of them were beating up on this one kid. And I thought, all right, I got to I got to go down there and like break it up or something. Right. Like I was like, I got to maybe they'll recognize me and they'll stop fighting for a second. Also, <laughs> when was this? This was how long ago are we talking about? Five years ago or something. I was in. I was doing Pacific Rim two and all. Oh Australia. right, right, right. So um, yeah. And then I realized those kids are gonna kick the living shit out of me. Like that weird feeling of like, oh wait, 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 wait. I'm now at the age where those teenagers, they're they're stronger than me. They got more Absolutely. energy, more, more more testosterone, more testosterone. They can kick the fuck out of me. Yeah. yeah. But I did start making my way downstairs, and by the time I I was I saw them from like an upstairs window of this house I was renting. By the time I got down, they were they were going. They dispersed. But it was a pretty last time I saw like a good brawl happening. That's an Australian thing, though. Oh, like, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, let's yeah, not yeah. be too stereotypical, fun, but every yeah. Australian guy I know. Fun, mate. Yeah, it's having some fun, mate. <laughs> you know, you're next. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're next. Right? You're going to be my next bit of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. But your head. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, so, but, and then the knife, like in New York, I, someone showed me a knife and I was like, what, what do you need? What do you need? I what got do you. What need? I give it to you. I, I remember, yeah, I got mugged. Uh, I was with my buddy Sam Whitwer. We were, it was, it was after a birthday party. We were at, like, right near the Roosevelt Hotel. And beautiful part of these Hollywood. guys. Well, yeah. These guys pulled up and, you know, got out of the, oh, it, it was kind of a similar situation. They were like, you they were like, yo, you got 20 bucks? And, and, and I was like, no, what are you, what are you talking about? And then they pulled the car over and I was like, I have oh, shit. I actually have that $20 that you, you know what, sir? Aforementioned uh, $20 bill I, have. I just realized I do have that. Uh, is there any way that that's all you're going to take from me? Um, you know, yeah. And the same thing, I pulled out a knife and, uh, and, uh, you know, I pull, I, I remember, I, I distinctly remember I pulled my wallet out. And I opened it because it was a wallet where you could see the cash mm-hmm. on the inside. And I pulled the because I was like, I don't want them to take my wallet. Yeah, I got to yeah, replace yeah. my license, yeah. replace my credit cards. It's going to be a whole thing. So I just very like I showed them, took all the mm-hmm. cash out and was like, boom. And I just gone to the fucking ATM, man. There was like I, they got like 300 bucks off me. It was a good it was a good get. It was a good get. But And then and then it wasn't until afterwards that it like really dawned on me. I'm like. Man, what if that had been like a like an initiation type situation? You know what I mean? Where it was like not really about let's get the, let's get their money, but also like you know this guy's being he's being initiated into you know this gang, and so he has to stab you. You know, maybe there's even apology that, an apology that goes before the stabbing. It's like I'm sorry, man, my friend has to stab you, which would have made it maybe slightly better. <laughs> you know worse. what I mean? It's like we don't have worse. a choice here. We don't worse, have a choice. Right? There's a reason for it. That would be worse because if you knew it was coming, I'd rather be stabbed without knowing it was coming. Right, a sudden right? stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. If he's like, right. sorry, I'm about to stab you. Yeah, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, and you're anticipating it. Yeah. That's like that you amazing, up. speaking of uh, Spielberg, who always comes in here and he's got yeah. that amazing scene in uh, Saving Private Ryan where oh. the guy's like, just, no, no, don't do this. You don't have to stab me. Don't need, like, don't, like, let's just go our separate ways. Yeah. And it's like, no, I got No, nah, man, I got to I, I got to I gotta yeah, do gotta this. Stab, yeah. Yeah. God, I wonder what that was like shooting that. <laughs> Where, what do, you, what do you think it was like shooting that scene? We should talk, we should find out from Steven. I think there was like a moon guy standing over around. him going like. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <sighs> so Meg, do you want to see if stuff. Steven's around yeah. and we can. Yeah, I can. Seem forced. Yeah, I don't want to force it. Yeah. He's got to let it happen. Sorry, you know what I mean. He never. He ne- you, you can't schedule yeah, him. Okay. He's like, you know, he's out and about doing his thing, and then every once in a while you get lucky and okay. he pops in. You know, what yeah, I, mean? I get yeah, it. You just can't force it. Can I ask you guys a question? So let's say you arrived for the podcast today and you know how I come a little bit early to like get set up. Mm-hmm. You came in and the door's locked and you find out that I've been taken hostage and that the hostage taker wants to talk to one of you. So who among you do you think is the best hostage negotiator? Are we talking through the door? Are we coming in the door? I guess it doesn't matter that much. But. Uh, let's <clears throat> say you're coming in, but only one so of basically, you. Basically, he's got you in this yeah. room. You're, mm-hmm. He's holding you hostage. And he and we're out there, and he's calling out saying, "I need to talk to one of you." But you guys get to pick who you're sending in. Right? Who's the one? So I'm sending in Charlie. Well, I would say you know you and Rob spend the most time together with the extra work you guys do on Mythic Quest, and I have to be at El Segundo by eleven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, right. So I'm, I'm probably setting in Robin hitting the road just so I could uh, beat the traffic. Well, the traffic's bad. I mean, the traffic's bad. I feel like we can pay enough getting on the 405. It's Super Bowl Sunday. It's gonna be hard to get down there. If you're there, from so. LA, you can understand this. Yeah, Rob, why don't you hop in there and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get a head start on my commute. That way I can get there and have a little bite to eat before we you know get started. I'll tell you what though, um, if you need me to call in, I'll call I'll call you from the road. Right? Uh no, I think to okay, but it, to honestly answer your question, to like have a rational conversation to like de-escalate a situation. Uh, I think I'm a good de-escalator. Yeah, I think I'm a Charlie. I think I'm good at understanding people's needs and wants and trying to communicate to those specifically and mm -hmm. talk talk of someone down. Yeah. I'm a crazy sitch. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. God forbid I don't want to be in that situation. You know what I mean? Who do you think would be the worst negotiator of the three of you? <laughs> you know... <laughs> I think Glenn. I think, I think you would be irritated. You would think... be irritated with the person. You'd be like, "Okay, sir." <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Well, hold on a second. Let's look at let's look at the three of us and the relationship that we've had over the last fifteen years, mm. and think about all the arguments that you two have That's gotten true. into. And guess who's right in the middle of it? Going, I hear you, and I hear you. <laughs> let's find some. I'm I'm almost always mm. the hostage negotiator. In those situations where it's like we can we can we don't have to get it's you're smart you're smart you're funny you're funny we, let's figure this out I validate you, know I mean? you. yeah I no know, that, but that's that it, it's a lot yeah. it, it is a lot of that it's like it's, I it's don't validated. know I feel like I've been in the middle I can of understand why you're this okay way. well we can agree that I would not be the best one it sounds like that's what you're agreeing. I actually think you'd be great well look at this I, you'd be good. You'd I mean I'm gonna throw, I, I I I think you'd I think you'd you be know great. what I think to, for the greatest success all three of us got to talk that's and, right. and and weigh in with our opinion and whether we have to <laughs> this, <laughs> this is <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and then that's how we work. The, we start arguing with each other so much that the hostage, the, the you know, hostage guy. What do you call that? Hostage, hostage taker. guy. Yeah, hostage the guy. hostage taker. That's it. Yeah. We don't have a better word for that. Yeah, there's got to be. A I mean, it depends on what he's doing. Is he is he trying to rob a bank? Because then he'd be like a robber. Yeah. But if he was just taking hostages, he's a uh, hostage like Hans, taker. Hans Gruber would be a terrorist. The but hostage, then it turned yeah. out that he wasn't a terrorist. The hostie. He, the hostie. <laughs> the hostager. The hostager. Oh. This guy did. There's got to be a word for it. What were you going to say about Hans Gruber? Well, in the movie Die Hard, which we, which, in the movie that we're par parodying with Frank mm -hmm. there, uh, Die Hard, Hans Gruber, they think he is a, a terrorist at, at first because he has like political prisoners that he right. puts on his list of demands. But it turns out he's not. He's just a thief. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. He transitions from... <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. movie. Holds up. Um, totally holds up. Glenn, you and your underwear... When you oh, when you derobe so was a good solid <laughs> laugh for me. Yeah. Just the way you're kind the of posture, holding your body the and the size underwear that we, we yeah. depict and your willingness to just like make that funny. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I remember us talking about how we all of us acknowledging that it would be funnier if they were tidy whities funnier if they were you know, if they were pulled up a little too high. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then and then <laughs> and then as far as the posture goes, there was just something funny about like shoulders back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shoulders back, like, you know, just it, it, there's something sort of <laughs> like serpentine about it or something. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I, I do remember like sort of very specifically like picking that look. Mm. And just knowing like that 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 it was gonna so it was gonna be something funny about it. I also do enjoy that I say that like I want her inside me. Yeah. I like when you tell her that we're in love now and like we've done it. Yeah, now we do the thing where you get me out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. like that part. Yeah, I enjoyed that too. I also enjoyed I also enjoyed your your scene with Frank. I, I liked the 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 yeah. hand I remember having this yeah, conversation, the conversation with you. about which way the hands. Yes, yeah, so I remember having this conversation with you. We were doing the scene, we're working on the scene, and I just I I had this vision of like old like horror vampire films. Vampire movies. Yes, old like Dracula movies from like back oh, in the nice. day. And their hands were were always like, it was like this, you know, one was up and forward and one, on one oh, was down. sweet. And so it was like this, yes, like this wicked kind of thing. And uh, I'm very glad we did that. We never, we never went back up into that bad room, no. did we? We, we kind of ditched that. No, we should explore that again. At yeah. one point, we, and Mac and Charlie die were kind of in the guts of the building again. Above, you're in the vents. the bar, yeah. in the vents and stuff. But we're never... Yeah, and you're again, on the roof. And there's so many rooms above that bar. We're never up there. Mm. Yes. 
Okay. And don't we say in the episode that we're going to the bar, of, that we're going to the roof of Patty's. He says, we're going up to the roof. But we don't go up to the roof. We go up to the roof of the building next door, next door to us. Which yeah. is kind of a fun mislead. So yes. when he drops, you know, that, yes, that, of course. that joke lands. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, but the reason we did it was because we weren't allowed on the roof of that building. And we were allowed on the roof of the building next to it. Yeah. Well, is, is the Patty's we building like too, it's too high up, right? It's like higher up. It's very high up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and he would have died. Yeah, oh, yeah. The character would have died. I got a question script, for you guys. Yeah. What <clears throat> what was the genesis? Of, I don't remember what the genesis uh, I was thinking of this about episode this. I was. Bet, I bet that this is a situation where we had a card on the board that said Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. And that someone thought, it was funny. Hundred percent. That is it. No, that is what happened. Is it? Yeah. That I was going to say. Absolutely. Someone was like, Stockholm syndrome is a funny thing. To and that was Lisa. I think that was Lisa Parsons' idea. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think yeah. That was her idea. And because I felt like we were leaning really hard in the episode to like explain Stockholm syndrome and talk, <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're we're overdoing that, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a bunch of exposition, and we lean into it by having the other character being like, in fact, you, you do it in the bathroom where. You're like, so what's going on? And I start to explain it. And you're like, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. I don't care. And then I just like break it down very simply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some good shit. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you had some interesting exposition in the very first scene in the back office when you're, 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 you're essentially, you're trying to explain to the audience, like, you're basically, the, it's like somewhere along the way, somebody went, the audience is going to wonder why he's got to go up there mm -hmm. to actually get the will when he could just sit down with a lawyer and redraft a new version. Mm-hmm. And so you actually have that conversation with them. Yes. Frank, like, why don't you just sit down with a lawyer and, you know, have him redraft the window? He's like, don't, he's don't, like, ask, don't ask too many don't questions. Don't ask too many questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. And the audience, basically, the audience doesn't care. <laughs> just get him up into the goddamn yeah, exercise. Just shutting, that, right. shutting down that one guy in the audience is like, wait, why is he doing this? He, in the, oh, Rob, okay. how did we do the fart in your face? Were you looking into my butt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't have his undies down. No, I don't, think you, had, no I don't think you had your your undies down. I don't think I don't think so. God, that would have been great. You were I just remember at his what was asshole. great was that how I, the hell else then do you see the side of my butt cheek like that? I didn't I didn't look again. I didn't look so close. Maybe I was. You must have been looking directly at my butt. <laughs> but I def I definitely remember in the edit because I couldn't see your face. Yeah. But like your face is the funniest part of of it. Yeah. Right. It's the enjoyment, the enjoyment of the yeah, audience yeah. knowing that like what. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> See, seeing that I yes, and then yeah. whatever it was, we had an idea where yeah, like you Squeak. wouldn't see me, and then I would like uh huh, oh, I would yeah, duck right, my right. head out, right. you know, for a line, and then come back in. I know that's in the bloopers. Too. Very, mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the fart noise that we chose. The squeaky kind of <laughs> out pretty good, squeaky airy one rather than a than a rumbling one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's always interesting, and whenever like the idea of like putting a fart in comes up, you see Rob go. You know, there's just this part of you is like you 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 don't like it, but you recognize that it's yeah. funny, and you know where it's needed, and you're willing to do it, but you don't really like it. Yeah. Well, part nor of you normally like it. a fart joke is pretty damn lazy and not so great, but yeah. in this, it's a good setup for a fart joke. It's a good mm -hmm. a fart as revenge is. <laughs> <laughs> funnier than just a, a as fart. But also, as you say in the episode, you're like, and we might die, and I never got to fart in your <laughs> yeah, face. Right. Yes. yes. So this is something he's been harboring. It's not only yes. revenge, it's wish fulfillment. Yes, yes it's wish fulfillment. Something yeah, yeah, you've been, yeah, yeah, yeah. been, been you know, fantasizing about for a very long time, and yeah. you've never gotten to do it, and you're like. I never got to do it. And, yeah. <laughs> I think that was improvised, some of that. Probably. I don't, I don't yeah, think yeah. that was in the script. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember for sure. But <laughs> Also, at the, at the very end, um, when it, and it, just like every episode uh, at this time period, we just end it um, just so abruptly. And we we realize there's no police outside and we're like, what? What is this? What was all this? And all he says is nobody messes with the McPoyles. Yeah. And that was it. That was the whole point of the entire episode. We should have. I mean, we should. We probably should have put in something about like, this is for this, this is, for, is Doyle. for Doyle. Yeah. So that people knew what the fuck but revenge it was. It was only two episodes earlier. Yeah, that's true. Um. I will say that I caught that too, where I was like, oh, we were connecting things in yeah. this season, mm -hmm. which we didn't really do again for quite some time. I like little bits here and there, but you know, we're connecting the will and Barbara dying and where the money's going to go. And That's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I like that. I mean, there, there should be a little bit of continuity to that, to that story, especially when there's like big life things that, that happen. I mean, especially. But then like, we got into a, like a thing just for the listener at home that we would make the episodes and then the network would kind of weigh in. Oh, we want mm -hmm. this one to go first and this one. And so we started to lean away from 
connecting them too much just in case one came out great. And we weren't opposed to their approach. They right? always like, wanted to front load the best episodes because they figured that was the best way to continue get the to most build viewers the audience. And yeah, they weren't wrong, right? So if, if we made 10 and one was amazing, we're like, yeah, well, let's get it in the first one or two, you know? Yeah. But um, I, I think we also got a great note from them after this episode, which I remember they, they liked. But then it was also around the same time that we started talking about the which I believe is the next episode. When's, when's the one where um, where you guys pretend to be cops? Making a mess, bo uh, oh, bums uh, making a mess. Yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Uh, right? That's coming up. That's the I, season. It's gotta be coming up, yeah. 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 I can't remember. And, and we did like a Serpico thing. And I remember like that script, they had gotten that script and then they had gotten this one and they were like, could, you guys are now starting to parody things, like which is fine. Yeah, don't and do if, too much. Parody. Don't too much parody. Don't do too much parody because if the show lasts for a long time and is in syndication, it's not gonna play as well. And if it's Die Hard, great. And if it's Serpico, great because those are big, those are classics. But we do kind of get into like parodying things later on. That uh, we do it again with American Idol, which I have to I have to imagine is going to feel dated. I that show's still on, buddy. Yeah, but it's not like the cultural juggernaut that it was at the, not at, all. at the time. And yeah. so No, but there's about 500,000 competition competition shows yes. out there where it's people sitting behind a table judging. Totally, but we're doing we're actually <clears throat> imitating the those actual people. characters. We could yeah. talk about that when we when we get there. But, yeah. That's right. But yeah, I think it was a good move to not well, not parody so much. Spe speaking of parodying though, one of my favorite lines in this episode and I, I do love that we did this, is uh, is when Danny pulls the gun out and says, yippee yay, yippee -yay, Mr. Mr. Falcon. Mr. Falcon. Yes. <laughs> Which for those in the know was, you know, so clearly Frank had seen the made for, or the edited for TV version of Die Hard because the actual line in the movie is yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. And you can't say that on TV. So the TV edit was yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Falcon. And it was yeah. like a different voice. Like it wasn't Bruce Willis. So it was like, Yippee ki -yay. Mr. Falcon. It was like the, the, you know, the engineer like was like, oh shit, we missed one line. He never said, oh, I, I got it. Uh, let me, I can do it. I'll do it. Mr. Falcon. <laughs> you know, too close to the mic. And, yeah. yeah. Yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon. I just wonder how that's, there's got to be a better substitute for motherfucker than Mr. Falcon. There isn't. <laughs> That's the greatest. <laughs> I, I wonder if you could. Not even mother Falcon. Like it could have been a mother Falcon. You know, I do like the decision at the time that was like, we can't cut this out. It is the it. This is the the that, premiere line. Yeah. This is the signature line of the movie. That's right. So we can't cut it out, but we got to mix it up. Mm -hmm. And then they made that decision probably last minute. And it was Mr. Falcon. Do, does that cut exist somewhere? Oh, God. It has to. Right. What on earth can you say that's not motherfucker in that situation? Mother trucker. Awful. Mother sucker. Okay. Mm. That doesn't sound good. So they either. won't let you do it. They won't yeah. let you do it. Mr. Sutton. Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. It is a different voice. Wait, can we hear that again? Right. Different, whole different thing. Yippee ki yay, Mr. Falcon. Wow, they you're did, right. It was the sound mixer. It was the sound close. mixer who was, who was editing. The, the guy mopping up is like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. They haven't said this one yet, Mr. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. You've got a good memory that you remember that that was like that, that there was something off about the accent. Well, too. that was just, yeah, that one. That one stuck. That one stuck I don't have you. a good memory. <laughs> okay, well, okay. But for, so, as we've clearly established. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, can we also talk about the fact that uh, after he says yippee ki -yay, Mr. Falcon, and pulls the gun out, he is holding a revolver, which presumably only carries at, at most six shots. He fires that gun, I think I counted 13 times. There's 13 gunshots that come out of that thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know if we just, I don't know if we got in there and we were just like, well, fuck it. It's it, like, it needs to keep going in order for us to edit the sequence the way we want to edit I it. I have a vague <clears throat> memory of that exact thing where we're like, he needs to keep doing it for the- To give Ryan the time to like have to, and it, yeah. yeah, start to fall off the building. Oh, I, I thought remember. you were talking about in Die Hard. No, no, no. Oh, no. in our show. No, no. Oh, and who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've established that, that, that there's no rules, right? Yeah. Like, I think no in, die, in Die Hard. No. Because no. that would have been. What fun. are the rules? Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that one too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Not I, I, for like. Not for a while. Months and months and months. Not for some time. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, what else about this episode, guys? Or what, if, what, what, what else are you mad about? You, you know, daylight savings. Are there any other time related issues that you want to talk about? Like, uh, I'm looking forward to it being brighter longer. You know? Everybody is. Yeah. Everybody. When do we spring forward? Because we can't get rid of the sun. With the, and the sun is No matter how much Glenn not? hates it, we have to embrace it. It just. Does this happen to you guys? You know, I, I, so it. I don't like the sun when it's on me and I'm not intending to do something that's like if I'm at the beach and the sun is on me, of course I'm like, yeah, oh, nice, cool, you know? Or if I'm like super cold and the sun's warming me up. But if I'm in a situation where you know like i'm standing around and and the fucking sun's just on me and i'm like i'm just trying to have a conversation or i'm like you know doing something in the yard or something and the sun's on me i don't like it you yeah, get angry no, with it. you what it, it pisses me up like yeah. it, it actually heats me up like i get it got like i, I get sure i'm like you, get the fuck off me get the fuck off me <laughs> it drives me crazy it actually fucking is this is it my well, only, I, know. I, had only a, one? I had a similar experience like i don't know it's 10 years ago when when we were getting into surfing or seeing if we could learn how to surf and we were in venice and i remember i was just terrible and i couldn't get it and i was just getting killed by waves and i remember at one point i just turned and a wave was coming in that was that was like about to crash on me and i just fucking <laughs> punched, <laughs> punched <laughs> it. Like, yeah. and like which i know is ri like ridiculous and then i was so pissed off that i was angry at the ocean right <laughs> what if the wave was dissolved <laughs> Just, it just, it, yeah. just it worked. You but I remember whole, being like, yeah. this, is a, this is a real concern because you are now angry at the ocean. And, right. and look, the ocean's going to win. Well, by the way, yeah, our, ocean our, our, ocean our, our ocean ancestors, wins. you know, they would have said, well, it's not, you know, they would have been mad at Poseidon. Yeah. You know, for sending that <laughs> for wave sending that, that you couldn't wave. surf, you know, you, so yeah. you could have, you could have punched the wave and said, damn you, Poseidon or Triton or whoever's in charge of the ocean. Which would have made me feel a little bit better. Right. Yeah. Which Dennis Reynolds at some point should definitely <laughs> punch yes. a wave and say, damn you, Poseidon. Damn you, Poseidon. Yeah. <laughs> Blame it on Poseidon. I, I did. <laughs> Out by a wave. We should damn do an episode Poseidon. where we travel to, to Hollywood. Out. I feel like that would be a really fun episode. The gang goes to Hollywood or yeah, something like should. that. Uh, we should. Maybe we're going to pitch a, a TV show idea. Our, yeah. our characters are going to pitch an idea. You know, we got an idea for something. And we decide we're like, uh, Charlie I never surfed. Hates it, you know? yeah. Yeah. Now you can watch in real time. You can rewind, Charlie. Uh, me pitching it, Glenn kind of yes ending, and Charlie just being like, nah, nah, I'll that. say, I'll spare you guys that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we should go somewhere where we where we can go get. Well, we could go back to the shore, I guess. But we've already done that. Yeah, you know what I mean. I but there's there is something about. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to get that scene in there because I do think it would be funny to punch a wave and call out to Poseidon, call you know, be angry at Poseidon. That 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 is that is pretty fucking funny. Yeah. We're angry at the sun. Hey, it's... speaking of speaking of uh, sea gods, um, isn't it interesting that Aquaman uh, has a uh, what, what are those things called? A, a, a trident. A, a trident, mm -hmm. but it's got like six prongs on it. It doesn't have three. No, it's like a, a it's like a it's like a a sextant. Yeah, a sextant. Well, a septant? Sept no, that's seven. Well, fish. It's a pentadent. <laughs> No, he's, he's, yeah. he's yeah. stabbing more fish to eat. Does he eat fish? Is he? Like, he is a, no, he's not. Well, he's, he's part no, fish, but no. fish eat fish. No, he talks to. Mm, shit. Yeah, but I don't think he's a predatory fish. I think he he talks to. He, he communes, eats fish food. He, he eats those little, <laughs> those little flakes on the top of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, swims yeah. up and just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You feed you feed him the same way you'd feed a goldfish. I have not seen Aquaman. I don't think I will. It's great, but he's like that. like Spider Man. Yeah, like. It's good. I haven't seen I most know. recently. Is it the same story? He's in high no. school and he gets bit by a spider? No. Why no, it's not an origin story. Okay. Why are all that... the new Spider-Man movies about him being, you know, whatever distance he is from, a, from his home? <laughs> yeah. H homecoming, far from home. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. The... Far from home. Like, I can't get home. Yeah. I'm not home now, <laughs> but call me later. Eight legs and you can't make your way home? <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to get home eight times faster. When does he going to have eight legs? Four times faster. He always has two. Well, yeah. No, I always thought it would be funny to to do a movie about somebody that gets bit by a radioactive spider, starts to get all the powers of a spider, and it's all good, but then he never stops turning into a spider. I guess that's what the that's fly the is. Fly. That's the fly. Well, but he never has any pa he never has any cool powers. Yes, he like, does. What's this he's fucking crazy strong? Remember, he's just like oh. crazy strong, and then he's like very virile, and women find him attractive because he's a half fly <laughs> for some reason. And then <laughs> he touched me again. He touched me again. I, love you, I like it. Is that where the expression looking fly came from? 
I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. 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 And then and then the real turn the real turn happens when and then he can like then well then like, he can throw up vomit. on stuff that he can he can oh, digest oh, yeah. things outside of his body. Yes, that's I, a cool power. Well, it was like acid. Now, like see, I, that's thing. a power I would like. And right? Jeff Goldblum, what if a choice. I could just Jeff literally Goldblum. just throw up on my food? Oh, you could do that. You, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but have it dissolve, have that then dissolve the food, so I don't have to chew it, and then I can just you know slurp it up. That'd be cool if I can metabolize sugar the way Jeff Goldblum's char character can in The Fly. That'd be pretty sweet, right? To be able to metabolize sugar that well. Go ahead. What are those? What are his other powers? That's Super it. Powers. And, then, and then it starts to. Then and it then, goes dark. then he goes. Then it goes dark when he yeah. turns into a fucking fly, Ooh. a legit fly. Yeah. And then he's begging. Do you remember the end of that movie? So good. Um, where he holds the the guy's got the shotgun. Yeah, and he, I don't no, even remember. I barely if it was remember his, the fly. I just remember who, him like if it was his. Who who's the um, female who the love interest? Because she, she wasn't a protagonist. Gina Davis, Gina Davis isn't? right? Yeah. 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 So I, it might be Gina Davis who at the end is like shooting the shotgun, and then she puts it up and like she let, lowers it. And he's like almost defeated, and he p picks up the shotgun and puts it to his head. Yeah, like he wants to be killed. Oh, and then David Cronenberg was like, "Well, now we have to show it." Yeah, because he's David Cronenberg, yeah. and that, that fly head just fucking explodes. He's got a thing for exploding heads. That David Cro mm. David Cronenberg doesn't. He? Why didn't they just get a big wall of like a sweet smelling sticky paper? <laughs> Right, right, and just stick so on some that. fly paper. It's some fly paper. Yeah, yeah because he, does he, he have be the able mind? Because he because he has the mind of a man and the body of a fly, or does his mind also start turning into? the Well, mind he of has fly? the mind of a man, but the desires of a fly. Does that make sense? <laughs> so he can think like a man, but his desires off, as is often the case with a man, his desires take over and he can't control himself. So yes, he would so go straight to that. So your mind fly paper. and your desires are somehow disconnected. When I'm not saying mine are, I'm saying all men are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as as our fly, and that's a fact. And that's See? a fact. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> can I uh, can I take this opportunity to hold you guys hostage and ask you some questions from Reddit? You're so on yes. theme. I know. You're so well, on I theme. Bring, I love it. Yeah, sure. Well, what what makes this sound organized? You're going to ask us. So I put a post on Reddit asking people for questions that they wanted to ask you on the podcast. You and sneaky I have, devil. Yeah, and I have okay. a couple of them. Sure. You guys want to answer? Okay. Sure. We'll do a lightning round. Um, <laughs> what's the story behind the backwards talking audio clip at the end of each episode? Why do we do it backwards? <clears throat> I have no idea. I think it was an arbitrary decision. I think, I think we thought it was funny to make a brown joke and then we were like... No, the first one was... The first one wasn't Brown. What was the first one? You're stupid for playing this forward. Oh, that's what we it was. really wanted to dig in on, like telling the audience they were dumb, <laughs> they were idiots <laughs> for watching. Well, the, it was like a little, the... a little joke, a little prank. Yeah, and then we it was a prank, and then it, it became a, a theme, and then it became a theme. Who has this Dennis sex doll? Where is it? Ooh, where is that? I don't know. <laughs> Are you worried about? That? You know that was that an is? expensive prop, wasn't yeah. that a super expensive prop? Yeah, to have we wanted made... it. We wanted it done made really well wow. now but somebody's got it no yeah, we no reached out I don't like to, to think about that it, i don't think it was a sex doll though right like wasn't no. it no it, like so we reached we, we, out to a sex doll you company. could treat it like one yeah <laughs> and it was too expensive that to, was way that was expensive. way too expensive yeah. to actually make it uh an actual serviceable doll. it was also too like those things were like too heavy yeah i think i think if you have one of those you gotta like put it on like a little dolly cart to move it around <laughs> And we had scenes where we were like carrying it and, yeah. you know, so we had, we had just we, the props department. Yeah. We yeah. just built like yeah. a dummy and then put a real, did you do a cast head. for your head? Like a mold? Like, um, no, actually, I think I probably should have, cause that probably would have been better. But, um, what they actually did was they did some sort of like a, I don't know, 3d, like, I remember I had to just sit like this and they did like a thing a that 3D went scan. Around my head. yeah Normal. like a 3d scan yeah and then and then i did it with different facial expressions and then they and then it looked like someone else if you had it would you fuck it <laughs> <laughs> i most definitely would not <laughs> i can tell you that bad. for for absolute certain uh yeah. who has the duster does anybody is that just uh, all that's probably the, in a wardrobe Okay, warehouse has, yeah. with all our other costumes. It's all being um, held for the Smithsonian sure. at some point, right? Yeah. I mean, it's all from what I understand, we've gotten many letters from the Smithsonian, like, yeah. when can we get our hands on this? <laughs> and, and we're like, oh, no, we're still doing the show. They're like, you are? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jesus, let us know when you're done. Christ almighty. Exactly. Yeah. 
the last question is, um, any episode ideas that you guys wanted to do and FX just said flat out no? I don't no. think so. I don't no, think no, so. No, no. no, they've been great partners they've never... in that yeah. way. <clears throat> I mean, no? No, what, no. what was the deal no. with the 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 episode? What was the episode that we did in season? I, I can't remember. Was it season six? Yeah, season six that we scrapped. And why did we scrap it? You remember? And then oh we, yeah, we which we then and then we turned into Mac into, gets fat. Yeah, I don't remember. It was one with Avatar. Like we had avatars for ourselves. Yes. We and uh, and the other storyline. I don't work or remember what the other storyline was. But the reason was because we thought it didn't work and we scrapped it. Right? I yeah. Mean, it yeah. Yeah. FX didn't want to scrap it. They were like, what? No. But we then we were able to monetize it over the course of the next. And season, we said, yeah. we'll yeah, we'll work it into. You won't waste your money. We'll yeah. Work. They've been. They've let us do whatever we want. They've been good partners. Yeah. 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 It's been good, creative, and professional. Sorry, I wish we had a more fun answer yeah, for sorry, that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that. <laughs> they also asked that since you guys are doing the video podcast now, are they going to see Dong? There was that question asked a few times. Yeah. A, a few times. <laughs> There's a Dong right up there on the wall. Yeah. Oh, that's true. How much Dong you need? <laughs> but you, you might see a ding. A from time to time, I don't know. Yeah, this room's, like pretty, the room's pretty cold. You're, you're going to get more dings. I mean, yeah, this room is freezing. They're yeah. all just dings right now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how much Why of a dong you've so got. Why is it so cold, man? I don't know. For freezing in here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like that shirt. I like that I'm going on another. That's sharp. Oh, you got some press some, to do. Some press. That when I does the movie come out? Pressy, when you have a movie coming? It's out. My movie's out. And by the time people hear this, it's out. Rave reviews, pal. Oh, really? Yeah. My dad oh. saw it. He did. He did. He, he sweet your dad he, to watch it. Yeah, he saw it almost right away. He texted me, said I really enjoyed it. And then I yeah. forwarded that on to uh Charlie to, you know, big big his head up. It's good. I'm happy with it. It's uh I, you know, that's funny, big his head up. Um I did like uh Mary Elizabeth showed me an email the other day that my mom had sent to her. She was like and <laughs> she wrote on it, really enjoyed Charlie in uh I was like on the Kelly Clarkson show and I sang like Midnight Train to Georgia or whatever. It's like really enjoyed his performance, but don't tell him I don't want his head to get too big. <laughs> and I just summed up. <laughs> wow. Uh, now we're getting into Now we're getting yeah. into yeah. I mean, That's yeah. the whole isn't reason that, you're, you're probably uh, a performer. Isn't that that's amazing? The whole that's isn't it. That amazing? That's it. That's distilled. I, it could have been a joke. Hmm. But I don't not think funny. it was. No, your mom, your mom, she ain't funny. My dad's funny, but my, 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 she ain't yeah, funny. Yeah, she's lovely, but I don't know her to be funny. Not that funny. Yeah, yeah. Let's get her on the podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> I ask her about that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I wonder why. I, what's, all, what's that all about, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, my mom grew up a, 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 around uh, parents who were who were very like, don't talk <clears throat> about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, always be humble. You know, almost to the point of like, if you want something, don't ask for it. If you need something, don't ask for it. That's a very Act like everything's okay all the time. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, yes. Like yes. my, my grandma. It's like it's like it's a withholding kind of thing, yeah. which is like not too much pleasure, not too much disappointment. Right. Let's never get out of the comfort zone of neutral because that this is safe. And right. anything beyond that is potentially, not. you know, risky. Love. Let's stay. Oh, yeah, love. No, let, yeah, no. Let's let's stay here because this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous because it's always going to end. And, and yeah, yeah. If you never go for this, you're you're less likely to. For the to listener, get to this. you're lifting your hand up and down. Yeah. highs and lows. Highs and High lows. is dangerous. Low is also dangerous. Yeah, let's yeah. stay even. I yeah. will say just to not totally throw my mom under the bus that she did eventually email me and say that, but it may have only been because Mary Elizabeth emailed her back and be like. You should probably tell, you should tell your son. You yeah. should tell your son yeah, yeah, how much you enjoyed yeah. his That's work. what she did. Yeah. But she did tell you. God did, bless her. Yeah. Do you think she was writing it like this? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, like, just like pain <gasps> having to type it. <laughs> yeah. Just like, no, just like, no. Yeah. Well, what about just calling you and like saying it as opposed to typing it? I don't know. Well, let's yeah, get it's a whole thing. thing. Okay. It's a whole yeah, East Coast fun. thing, man. Yeah. My mom doesn't like holding the phone up to her. I'm like, just get headphones, man. Like. She's like, man, it's like it hurts my neck to hold the phone up. So I, that's why I never call you. <laughs> that's why episodes with our characters' parents are so goddamn funny because the parent-child relationship it's is hilarious. hilarious. It is hilarious. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of fun <laughs> stuff in there. Especially my mom on the show, like how she always annoys my character. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
and how your your mom is by far the worst, and yet you're like convinced that she loved like you love the shit out of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely adore her. Yeah. Well, because she loves me right back. <laughs> Mrs. Mack loves her son Meh. Ronald. Meh. Meh. <laughs> I, don't <give> <laughs> I don't give a shit. That's what I'm great. I don't give a shit. We should definitely do an episode where Mrs. Max is trying to spray you with vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, yeah. yeah. With the one where, where Dennis punches a wave and you're yeah. getting sprayed with... Oh, all right, we got to go Yeah, to you're the covering beach. yourself in vinegar to... Uh, we got to go to the It shows that she's like spraying it in my face to get her, me away from her. But yeah. I think she's doing it to like <laughs> help my tan. Yeah, yeah, to help your tan. Yeah. We, could, we could do one where there's like a city pool that has a wave machine so that we're like all jazzed up about we... the wave machine you know what i mean and yeah, then your, mom, your mom's there and she's spraying you down and you're 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 the most excited about the wave machine but then it turns on you and then yeah well still... that's what i'm talking about the high the high of being like i'm so excited i've always wanted to surf you know what i mean i've always wanted to get out there on those big waves this is a great way to do it yeah. you know and then the low of discovering that the wave has far more power than you can control <laughs> But the only reason I'm pitching City Pool is because we've already done an ocean episode, but we've already done a we've done, we've done a pool episode. episode. And we've done a water we've park done episode. It. Oh, God damn it. Well, I think we did it. Uh, yeah. Do we have any yeah, other questions? Or jokes and uh, yeah. tapped into my parent-child relationship <laughs> travels. I um, I'm going to go get in a hot tub because, Jesus Christ, it's <laughs> okay. cold in here. Okay, okay. look at that. I'm going to go get in a hot tub. Okay.